Hopefully she can help us out. We can't be walking through the desert too long. I mean, not without water. <laughs> Go through all this and die of dehydration would be pretty lame. Uh, fun? Should I be calling a doctor? What? Why? What's happening? Because you are all cut up. <laughs> what? what? Am I bleeding? Where? No, I'm what? Safe. You're weirdly buff. I put an exercise bike in my office a few months ago. Don't worry about it. Right. He is pretty young. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm a little envious of the definition he's got going. He's saving the world. It doesn't leave you much time for the gym. Would you stop sneaking up on me? <sighs> Who's sneaking? I don't sneak. Oh, so you've been here this whole time? Yeah. Oh. Reese, who are you talking to? So he definitely can't see me, right? You're kind of freaking me out, Reese. Hey, so remember earlier when uh, I said I could see Handsome Jack? Sure, right after you fell off the ledge. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Well, it's true. Uh, he's standing right next to you. Right. Right. So, Handsome... <laughs> Handsome Jack is standing next to me. Yes. And I can't see him, but you're able to see him and also talk to him. Correct. He definitely thinks you're crazy. Who exactly is this little muscle-bound tool? <laughs> I'm not crazy. <laughs> okay. Ask him how many fingers I'm holding up. Uh, I don't know, he's scratching his ass, and, uh... Oh! God, I think he may have pissed on his shirt, that's not yeah, clean. How many? Three. Three, you're holding up three fingers. Lucky guess. You know it's not. Come on, we should get out of the sun. I... I don't understand. <laughs> Join, Join the, the club. club. Jinx. Let's go. I can't tell if I'm crazy or you're crazy. Yeah, I don't know what state of being uh, I'm in right now, but uh, well, walking still sucks. Man, what are the odds? What does he mean? Yeah, what do you mean? Well, I mean, of all the people in the universe, Handsome Jack could be appearing to it just happens to be the guy who's totally obsessed with him. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy! It's like destiny. Uh, what? Should I be creeped out right now? Because I'm feeling a little creeped out. This is just a coincidence, Vaughn. Men make their own destiny. You sound like Vasquez. You sound, uh, like you're dodging the question. Uh, you obsessed with me, Cupcake? I mean, think about it. You got all those handsome Jack posters in your office, dude. I think that's a little weird. That makes two of us. Yeah, those are motivational posters. You like the cat hanging? Thought your Hyperion issued. Well, maybe it has something to do with the Nakayama drive. Namayaka, what, why does that sound familiar? No, I did shove a bunch of data, you know, <laughs> straight into my head. Ah, uh, Nakayama, right, the weirdo that was obsessed with me. The other weirdo that was obsessed with me. Oh, man. Hyperion would kill to get their hands on this. This? You! Your head or body or whatever Jack is in. Yeah, they would, wouldn't they? Whatever version of Jack you've got in there, Nakayama stored it for a reason. Damn right, even this idiot gets Hyperion it. Hyperion would scour the ends of Pandora to get it. We can't take Jack back to Hyperion. He's... What? No, 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 no. You need to get me back to Helios. Yeah, you're probably right. No, no, you are definitely wrong. This is torture. That's, that's what it is. I'm in hell. This is what hell is. <laughs> it's about time. There. Hopefully she included some water. Uh-oh. Incoming! <laughs> it's coming right for us. Hey, I guess that tracker's working, huh, boys? It's coming <laughs> right for us! Go to Baba! Ha <laughs> <laughs>
Nice sock. Fancy meeting you two here. Here I was, out for a nice drive, and I land right on just the guys I was looking for. So, I'm guessing Yvette said... What? No way! Ho ho ho! <laughs> that girl you keep calling, thinking no one's noticing? No, no need. You're Hyperion property, Reese. Hyperion doesn't lose track of its property. Look, I know we had a deal. And uh, while I don't like to go back on an agreement made man to man... Hey, that's right! We did have a deal! You convinced me to double-cross my best friend, and the day isn't even over before you're double-crossing me? Oh, <laughs> oh man. When you put it like that, it does sound awful. Dev, what? Should've known better than to trust a snake like you. Oh, don't be like that, little guy. It's just the way of the, uh... Listen, I'm gonna go see if I got a shirt in the trunk, because your body is making me uncomfortable. Hold tight, kids. Look, I told him I would sell you out, but I swear I wasn't gonna do it. I was just saying whatever he wanted to hear just to keep the jerk off our backs. I wasn't gonna follow through with it. Please believe me. I swear, Reese. He offered me the deal, too. Really? Well, what did you tell him? What's that? They're shovels, genius. You two freaks start digging. I want to see a decent grave going before too long. You heard me. Don't make me tell you again. No, no, no. I'm not digging. How about I gut shot you? Your little friend can watch you bleed out. I do not want to do that. What a good friend. What part of dig don't you understand? Let's get going, Mr. Universe. Okay, just don't shoot. There you go. A little hard work never killed anybody. I mean, you're gonna die. Yeah, sure, but I, it won't be the hard work. <laughs> to be fair, that was supposed to hit you. Wait. Wait! <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah. Damn. Damn, that smarts. I think I did that wrong. I... You got a tough noggin. Looks so easy in the movies, but... Amateur hour. You gotta aim for the bridge of the nose, dum-dum. How is it every time I show up, you idiots are in a worse situation? <laughs> You're not helping. <sighs> All right, fun's over. Looks like we'll be settling for the shallow variety of grave. Reese, you die first, and then he can load your body in the car. I'll bury Vaughn myself. What? Yeah, they want this idiot's body for something up there. Something, uh, important floating around in his head. This is a prototype. The most advanced gun Hyperion has ever made. Someone's overcompensating. Any... last words? Before the, how do you say, with the inevitable two, eat shit. Yeah, that's the spirit. Well, that was three words, but I'll be sure to put eight shit on your tombstone. And I'd be more worried about my tombstone if you knew where the safety was. You're hilarious. I'm gonna miss your... <sighs> Gosh damn it. Uh, is... Is there a problem? Man? I know how to shoot a gun. I just want to get the maximum damage out of this thing. Okay, look, as much as I'd love to watch this idiot kill you two idiots, I can't let that happen. I'm, I'm inside of, I'm not inside you, but I'm like, look, if you go, I go. I've enhanced your echo eye, so use it to hack something and get us the hell out of this jam. Figure out how you can pay me back later. I've got you back. 
right. Okay, mess this guy up. Okay. It's heavy, but it's a solid piece of metal. Oh! Your subsystem access, that's but new. not a gun you can do. Push this in. Just saying, and nothing's happening. Something feels locked. Safety on this fuck. How the hell? Ow! Burns, doesn't it? <laughs> what are you doing with your hands? Uh, I'm, I'm not doing that. Oh, hello. <laughs> this is an interesting little development. Fine, look, we gotta go. This is my head. Get out! Oh, come on. Go! Oh, oh you see, you see what you did. You hit your race. Yeah, go ahead and run. You're just making this butter for me. I missed you more! This isn't over! You hear me? You hear me? Hey! So, should we be going to Hollow Point or straight to Old Haven? I mean, they know where we're going! Maybe we should just meet them there! Well, I guess we could just meet him in Old Haven, you know, get a head start, or we could always just go to Hollow Point, though that might be dangerous. Man, this is a big decision. <laughs> it's weird, but I, I always, uh, you know, talk to myself during, you know, huge choices. It's just something I do, and I, I know it's just, we'll meet them at Hollow Point. Then we'll go together, like a family. Sounds good. To Hollow Point. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. It was just to keep Vasquez off of us. Like I said, I would never betray you, bro. Do you forgive me? Just say yes. Cause I feel like super bad right now, bro. Not even worried about it, bro. Man, I'm so relieved to hear you say that, bro. I knew you'd never betray me, bro. Never, bro. Never. Thanks, bro. Hey, we're bros, bro. That's bro, bro. Bro! Bro, 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 bro. Bro, 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 Are you done? Bro, 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 bro. Unbelievable! I got one. We should probably let him finish. Fine. I'm curious. Why would you choose to go to Hollow Point? What was there to gain? I'm growing impatient. There was nothing to gain. It was just the right thing to do. Oh, please, don't be so eager to fall on the sword. We had Loderbot with us. What exactly could our angle have been? It's not like you came and saved the day. We all have our reasons. I suppose yours are good enough. If they were, we wouldn't be here. A man can only take so much. Luckily, you're a safe distance from a man. <laughs> we were stranded in the desert. You <sighs> had a car. Did you even consider coming to get us? We had our own... Oh. 
One of you will have to change a tire. will be okay. I'm sure they'll figure something out. Probably. But, um, the Badlands are practically a graveyard. Oh, they'll be alright. In the heat? With the skags? I'm not so sure. They probably called for help and had someone pick them up. Yeah. Probably. With a caravan like this. We couldn't help him if we wanted to. I hope he'll fix it. We're not exactly rolling in cash right now. How are you gonna get him to do it? I mean, I'm assuming it's not exactly a charity. And we definitely cannot get out of here if we don't get this fixed. Oh, please. This is me doing this. Nothing I can't handle. Okay, don't get too cocky. We'll figure it out, don't worry. Stay here. I'll do the talking. Wouldn't have it any other way. Scooter's a fan of the races. Good to know. That race was insane. Rest in peace, Basanova. Ugh. Does every mechanic have to be gross? Scooter must have connections at Dalcorp. This looks pretty high-tech. Leaving me out like this. I almost feel sorry for the poor sap. Almost. I carry the three to five back twelve. Oh, what the hell, man? I gotta cut down my wrench budget. Oh, oh hey, man! Welcome to Skitter's Catch a Ride! What can we do for you today? Sorry if I seem a little dis distracted. Uh, hopefully handing this place over to the new proprietor today and I gotta get all these numbers and stuff in order. No, it's a lot. I don't know if you know this, but the transition from small business owner to franchise owner is... Wow, oh, this is a really nice looking place you have here, Scooter. Oh, thanks, man. It means a lot. Business has been a little slow so far, you know, being in a hidden cave town and everything, but it'll pick up. <laughs> Hope it picks up, though. Holy crap! I knew I recognized this rig from somewhere! You were in the latest Bossin' Over Death Rally! Oh, I was there, man! Did you see me? I was, I was waving! You were a badass! Oh, <laughs> yep, got me. That thing's beat up to hell and back, man! I could fix it, but it's probably gonna run you about 2,500 cold 2,500? Uh, that's a little out of my price range. 
Not to be implied or nothing. But you must have won a buttload of money from that race, right? Where did it all go? Oh, cause my cousin, right? He said that his sister's friend's neighbor's husband won one of them races one time and the cats kept them fed for weeks. Yeah, someone stole it. Can you believe that? Yes, actually. Yes, I can. Well, tell me this. You think you could ever see yourself racing again? Let me pitch you something, and it might be crazy. But if you keep racing, I would love to endorse you as a sponsor. What do you say? It'll be great, maybe like a billboard, a couple of commercials, product placement. You'd be huge. Scooter, sir, you have yourself a deal. Yeah? Oh man, this is awesome. You will not regret this. No way, no how, man. But, uh, say it once for me, man, you know? The catchphrase, catch a ride. You know it, come on. Don't be shy, I'm your sponsor now. Gotta hear how you do the catchphrase. Catch a ride. <laughs> I'm thinking that we put a big old ad on your van, you know, like maybe a picture of me with like, catch a ride up above it, you know, all cool, right? I'm looking all badass, you to put some badass pictures of you with your car and your hat and all that. Hi, Scooter, right? Everything going okay? <laughs> I was uh, I was just gonna, you know, go grab the paperwork. Let me take care of that. Okay, bye. All right, man. Here's my standard endorsement contract. Don't mind the sub clauses about uh, explosions and whatnot. I might have copied it from Torg. Anyway, I figure as long as I'm in there and you're yeah, doing it for free, maybe you want to splurge and get some of the special packages. I got some good ones. I know it's a big decision. You go ahead and take your time. A lot of good choices, I know, I know. Real classy ones, too. Sometimes I just stand here and stare at him, you know? I know how it is. That one would look badass as hell. That is some fine taste, man. Like a treat for yourself and for me getting to do it. Can't wait. Come on in, man. We'll get her all hooked up and get to work. Oh, crap. This doesn't look good. Hey, fellas, what can I do you for? Oh, no. I just hope that little deal you two struck is enough to get him to look the other way. Scooter won't turn us in. You don't know that. We don't even know what the reward is this time. You just gotta have some faith, Sasha. Out of teach him. Hope you ladies weren't too scared. Just do my duty to keep ruffians the crap out of my garage. I'm a real protector type. Thanks. Hi, hey man, it was no big deal. Proper man ain't gotta turn in two nice seeming ladies. You might be murderers or some crap, but you ain't tried to murder me yet. <laughs> but seriously, please don't try to murder me. Seems like there's some bad men looking for you two, though. You got a place to lay low while I'm getting your ride all fixed up? I don't think Felix is as too far away. If we're careful, we can make it on foot. Then, let's do it.
don't like this. We shouldn't hang around here too long. Looks like he had company while he was away. It could have been Felix. Could be. Come on, look around. We gotta be in and out. Yeah. I got the door. He always complained about the reception on this thing. Right. A phonograph is more to his taste. I had to force this on him once his eyesight was starting to go. Yeah, stubborn as always. I couldn't even get him to stop using floppy disks. Who is she? I don't know. They look happy, though. Felix's favorite chair. Those few times he felt he could relax anyways. A comfort directly proportional to its wear. It's empty. That's strange. The can's wet, but I don't see any paint. Hmm. Weird. Always nice to see an old friend. Great. A flashlight. Maybe if we go camping. It's a black light. It's the one Felix used to check our first counterfeit bills. Oh. It looked familiar. It's hard to believe that asshole would be sentimental enough to keep this in his safe. Not unless he meant for us to find it. Sasha, look at this. What the hell? It's ultraviolet paint. I guess he wanted to keep all this a secret. Well, he left this for us to find, so... There's something he wanted us to see. See it! Right there! Awesome! <sighs> if you find another flashlight under there, I'm leaving. Guess that's what we're searching for, huh? Guess so. Here we go. Better double check the contents. Oh, hello, sexy. You're coming with me. What is it? It's an echo comm. Why is there- If you're seeing this, I suppose-